hi guys welcome to Nicole's channel and then this day we will try to uh, check how to install RAM or random access memory on a computer check it out so today guys as you can see we have uh, this CPU or rig system as we call it that's my rig system now we will try to replace let's see we will try to replace the rig uh, the rigs or the CPU's random access memory okay first we need to open this box okay so we can take out the motherboard or uh, have, so we can have access to the motherboard and technically uh, it's not necessary for you to open or take out or pull out the motherboard but it's for easier it's, it's for us to easier uh, easily install the RAM so we'll try to remove everything so guys finally we have taken out the motherboard in our CPU or uh, rig system so what I have here is actually uh, so I have taken out the motherboard hmm. alright uh, I'll show you what the motherboard look like go this is what my motherboard look like looks like it's kind of old so it only supports uh, DDR uh, well this is DDR3 this is DDR3 but it supports second gen and third gen okay guys as you can see the RAM slot it's empty okay we are, we, it supports two dual RAM slots for the meantime because this is one of the old uh, one of the second or third gen motherboards that was released okay see it clearly then uh, I got I ha I'll get my RAM bingo this is the two uh, my two RAM slot, uh, two pieces of RAMs. So each RAM is two gig. So we'll have like four gig, four gigabyte of total into. We'll, we'll insert uh, on each RAM slot. So we'll see. So if you notice, there's a cut. Okay. Physically, uh, I mean technically, the the cut is it will indicate where it should be placed okay so well there are different uh, RAM frequency so this board only support up to 16 1600 uh, gigahertz of frequency anything higher frequency than that the uh, it may it may not turn on your motherboard because of the frequency is no longer compatible with your board okay. so i'll put this into the ram slot we'll do it one at a time guys okay slowly you can see the pattern is the pattern is the cut this cut this piece is uh cut that's the main pattern okay guys you will see that cut in the board is here see that see that piece of cut and that's what we will follow okay technically have to place and align everything accordingly and following that cut so We'll try to insert this slowly. So you can see it will 
it will click as you push it harder yeah we're done we're done with the first slot okay uh, then we'll install the second slot same thing the second slot will follow the cut itself okay Okay, then again we will have to push it not that hard slow gradually until you hear it click like that there you go and the after after putting it all together then we will move on to the next video which is putting this motherboard back to the to its case okay so see ya, we'll check uh, how this thing will work and see if it will recognize the two RAM slot that we have inserted, okay? Hi guys, so this is actually a continuation of what uh, we have done last time. We just installed this uh, RAM. So this time, since we have removed the board from the casing itself, we will have to reinstall uh, this board okay so let's go and get started hey guys so this is uh the empty case itself so first thing we need to do is clear this link uh this surface this is actually the part that we will be placing uh, all the so first you notice these holes these, these are the holes that we will be using to place basically to place the motherboard okay. if you notice each each uh, corner of board itself has screws so it will or it should uh, align those holes later on I'll show you okay hey guys so we have just placed uh, the board to this application okay so first, uh, just want to uh, make sure that each each screws will be pointed or will be positioned in line with those holes that I showed you earlier. Okay, so you see all those. Then uh, later on, we'll move forward uh, testing things and see if everything is working. But before that. Uh, we need to plug all cables on each port. Okay, I'll show you. Hey guys, so we're just plugging things. Make sure that it's aligned. So it says here, uh, audio. So we'll find the one that says audio. How do you go through this place?
One eternity later. There you go. Then we'll try to touch this. So first we we'll have to insert the the hard drive or the hard disk uh, SATA to each uh, to each port. So so we can press. Oh, before anything else. Uh, we'll try to assess whether uh, forgot to put this power power plug or the power cable itself. We'll try and test everything. Backup external. Uh, see if it will if it will work properly. Okay. Nice. Yeah, to go right next to it. Okay. Make it stand. Very good, that's good. Very good. Okay. We'll try to look for a plug. It's working now. It's on our late Windows boot. So I'm going to go here. Alright, there you go. All the files seem to be up there. We'll check the the RAM. See if it's being read. There you go. You can see on the screen it says 4 gigabyte, 3.41 gigabyte usable. Everything looks good. Just like how we did it initially. Right, everything went through successfully. Hopefully you get something out of this video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Thanks for watching.